9 emails, 9 copyright takedown requests, 25 Instagram messages, a false police report, 1 Facebook thread doxing my entire family, and 1 cup of tea. Yes guys, I know what you're thinking, another Lily Jean video. Listen, I was not going to make this video to be honest with you, I was just going to skip past this one and I, I know Lily Jean would have loved that. The problem is, I do believe this will be the last video I ever make on Lily Jean because I think it's come to a close now. Multiple YouTubers are talking about her, there's been an article released about her which I'm in, yes. I guess you could consider me more famous than Lily Jean now. Although, it wasn't that hard to begin with, with her army of bots. Now, if you don't know who Lily Jean is, what on earth is wrong with you? She's basically somebody who claimed that she was famous, but she really wasn't. She's done things like photoshopping herself in the Met Gala to try and seem like an A-list celebrity. And because of her faking her fame, we decided to make videos about it, which they really didn't like. And in the last year, it really kicked into overdrive. She's been trying to copyright strike my videos ever since. She was also doing the same to Premink as well, because I believe he was the first person to post a video on Lily Jean. And all her goal really was was just to silence us and instill fear into us so we cower like mud crabs. But me, I'm no mud crab. I'm like a bad smell that won't go away. I'm I'm not silent, but I am deadly. And every time she tried to silence me, I just screamed even louder. And then they thought to themselves, you know what, right? This Welsh b that ain't shutting up. What's wrong with him? He must be insane. We've got to do something to make him shit his pants. How about we dox his family and file a false police report against him? Woohoo! That will get him. No, it didn't. So that was when I finally performed my final fatality on the horse girl and the freak. And what did I do? Well, I just posted another video. <laughs> They hate that more than anything. It gets right under their skin, and I love it. Now, as I mentioned, there is an article we're gonna go through, and we're gonna read through that. It's absolutely brilliant. And even the person who wrote the article has even been receiving some grief from Lily Jean and her mother. And I also saw a few comments from people saying that me making videos of them is only making them more famous, and that's exactly what they want. Well, I don't believe that's true, because they wouldn't be trying so hard to take my videos down if that were the case. Like, there's a reason why many YouTubers have had their videos strike down by Lily Jean. It's because they hate it when people make videos on them. <laughs> And I also saw people were a fan of my theory in the last video as well regarding Lily Jean. My theory was that Lily Jean actually believes she is famous and it's because her mother gaslit her into believing it. Like, what if her mother was just suggesting Lily Jean to start up an Instagram account doing makeup and then she would just go into the back office and just bot Lily Jean's account and be like, Look, Lily, you've gained a million followers. How amazing is that? <laughs> Premink even said in his last video that the articles that are being posted is created by people on Fiverr, a freelancer website. So her mother may just be going on Fiverr and just asking people to make articles about her daughter and then showing Lily as if they're actually real. And she was apparently on the cover of Teen Vogue as well, but obviously that was bullshit because Teen Vogue had actually stopped printing magazines at that time. So obviously it was Photoshop and it was fake, but what if her mother had Photoshopped it and then showed Lily being like, look, I can't believe it. You made it on the cover of Vogue! <laughs> you know what I mean? But people did have some good arguments to my theory regarding the Met Gala scandal. This could have been a once in a blue moon thing, where she approached Lily and was like, look, let's actually Photoshop you in the Met Gala. It's a bit risky, but I think it'll gain more traction to your account. Like, it is a possibility that that is just a one-off thing. And the reason I've come to this theory is because everything I've received, the false police reports, the doxing, the copyright strikes, everything I've received is purely from Laura Truman. Everything! is from Lily Jean's mother. It seems like Lily Jean's mother is the mastermind in all this. But like I said, it's just a theory, you know? It's like the Truman Show, which actually works pretty well because her surname is Truman. What if Lily is just living in a false reality that her mother had created? But as I just said, you know, it is just a theory. You know, there are a lot of holes in that theory also. I mean, the chances that actually being true is slim, but it's a little fun theory that I, you know, do think about sometimes, especially when I'm going to bed at night. It's kind of sad, actually, that the last thing on my mind before I go to sleep at night is Lily Jean. Now I'm disappointed. But anyway, Lily Jean now has moved away from her makeup account, and now she's pursuing acting to try and be an actress. Uh, she's apparently won awards, but I reckon it's full of shit, to be honest, just as usual. I'm sorry to say this, but in my personal opinion, there's no way that she's won awards for... for... for that. <laughs> God, even Jerry could act better than that, couldn't you, Jer? Ooh. That's brilliant, Jet. What he's doing right now is the intimidating stare. I love it when he does this. <laughs> but like I said, I'm not going to cover all the past events with Lily Jean. If you do want to see the whole backstory, I'll leave two links at the end of this video that you can go and check them out. Whoa. Okay, so really strange. Um, this is just, that just happened. I was about to read the article and I can't find it on Google. The person who wrote this article 
has just said on Twitter the following. In a turn of events that isn't the least bit surprising, but still shocking, our Lily Jean story has been removed from Google search because of a DMCA copyright strike. So if you could share this article and give it some love, that would really help. So the very kind gentleman who Preming put me in contact with and also wrote this article, his name is Stephen Asarch. I hope I said your name right. <laughs> Hang on. Asarch, yeah. Asarch? I think that's right. Asarch? Yeah, I think that's right. Um, I'll call you Stephen the ultimate man. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> uh, whatever. So he's actually given us an update on Twitter of what happened with the article. And like I said, I've just seen this now. So my reaction is very authentic. You can feel it. The authenticity just beaming towards the camera right now. Uh, to be honest, Lily, big mistake doing that because I was making this video for closure, but you've just given me the reason for this video. It's because you DMCA'd an article on you to silence people once again. So I am going to link the article in the description of this video, and if you guys can share it around as much as possible, like even on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, share it around everywhere so we can really reveal the true colours of Lily Jean, you know? And Stephen worked really hard on the article as well, but Lily Jean in the face of adversity, we will not be silenced. You cannot scare us. <gasps> Ooh, what's that? What's that? What the hell is that? What the hell is that? Oh my god. Oh, hang on. I clicked on the wrong article, but check this out. Young Changemakers. Why and how Lily Jean is helping to change our world. Really? Didn't realize shit acting was helping change the world. But yes, of course, Lily Jean, if it wasn't for your 2024 headshots that you post on your website, we would never have achieved world peace. I mean, helping to change our world. Really? Is that what you call it? Doxing innocent people? <laughs> yeah, that's really helping the uh, the whole world thing. Yeah. Here's the title of Stephen's article. Bullyish. How a story about influencer Lily Jean's alleged copyright abuse led to us receiving abusive threats. And that was only posted two days ago. And she's already DMCA striked it. You can just see how desperate they are to silence people. But before we start reading into the article, I do want to say, guys, if you are new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button. We're trying to reach 100k by the end of the year. But I want to do it much faster, to be honest. I want the Curtis Price Sammy to grow strong and brave. There are some other things that Stephen has also posted on Twitter as well regarding, you know, emails from Lily Jean and threats and stuff like that. And we are going to be taking a look at that after we read the article, so stay tuned for that. But let's get into it. In quotations, should you decide to ignore our email and pursue this fabricated story based on these lives, we will immediately take all appropriate legal steps. Laura Truman emailed Passion Fruit on May the 19th. That was the first time anyone at the publication, including my publisher and my boss, James Dell had heard about the story. The day prior, I had emailed Laura's daughter Lily Truman asking for her response to a video posted by a commentary channel, Preming. At a glance, Lily Jean seemed like your average influencer, hopeful with a decent internet following of 1 million Instagram followers. <laughs> 1 million? Come on now. 1 million bots, man, we know this. Obviously, though, you know, it's not confirmed that they are bots. It's just like a few years ago when we were taking a look at the analytics, a few things didn't line up with their Instagram followers. But who knows? Maybe some of them are real, you know, family members and stuff like that. She posts acting reels and sketches about things like sentient shoes. What the f is a sentient shoe? <laughs> Hang on, I need to know. Oh, so she posted a video about shoes and called it a short comedy film. <laughs> Are you for real? What is so comedic about shoes? They had their own personalities. High heels had personalities. God, what a great comedy film. God, I mean, it is pretty comedic, but just for all the wrong reasons. I didn't know she did that. It's basically just high heels talking to each other. I mean, okay. God, haven't laughed like that in a while. Thanks, guys. Yeah, post things about sentient shoes, a secretary standing up to a rude boss, and two sisters talking on the telephone. Though she posts quite often with multiple videos daily, her posts seem to be from a place of innocence and creativity. You wouldn't look at her portfolio and think that you know, she has any malicious intent. I mean, just crack on with what you're doing, I'd say. Honestly, some advice for you. Just probably just stay away from all this. Trying to copyright strike people, trying to silence people. As I've said in my past videos, if you stop doing these things, if you stop striking people, if you stop trying to silence people, nobody would talk about you, and that's true. A little backstory for you. About four or five years ago, I made like three videos on her, and then I never spoke about her again. And I didn't say anything about her. I quit YouTube, and I came back one year later, and I think my first video back was like a HS Tiki Talkie video. And after I posted that first video back, 
she tried to copyright strike me, so I made a video. And then I found out that she tried copyright striking other creators and successfully took down their videos. So I made another video. And then I found out she successfully striked Cleo's video down, a lovely Belgium YouTuber. So I made a video about it. And then she doxed me and my family. So I made a video about it. Every video I've posted is in direct response to something you did to me. Uh, so it caught my attention when to his million subscribers, YouTuber Premium claimed that after creating a video on the creator four years ago, Lily and her mother have been spamming his channel with copyright notices that got more unhinged over time. In the emails posted in the video, Lily and her mother accused Premink of slander and defamation. The pair also made unsubstantiated claims that he fosters sexual discussion with minors. They use his real name and address, which he has not shared publicly. So yeah, about that is pretty much exactly what happened to me as well. They were literally sending me endless copyright strike request takedowns. They said that I apparently play with children on Twitch as well as talk to them over Discord, which is very strange because I even said in my last video I've never once streamed on Twitch. I don't think I've ever streamed in my entire life, only on YouTube. And also in Discord, I rarely use that. I think the only reason I use it is for Mid Journey, which is like an AI generating program. Like, at least make up different lies for the both of us. Why you've got to go ahead and copy and paste the same lie? Like, just make up different ones. At least that would be more believable. And also the whole thing about slander and defamation. Again, I've already been through this in my past videos. I'm not sure how I've slandered or defamed you in any way whatsoever. And anyway, you just slandered me by saying I play with children on Twitch and I talk to them over Discord. When have I ever done that? Over the next week following his latest Lily Jean video, Premink noticed someone edited his Wikitubia page to include his name and home address, though it has since been changed back. He also noticed Lily Jean posted three now deleted videos about bullying. Two of those videos included his full name and one had his hometown and state, which he believes came from the information Lily Jean acquired when Premink visited her website. I mean, to even do that in the first place, you've got to be a different kind of breed. I mean, are you really going to accuse people of like stalking you and bullying you and you're literally giving out people's personal information to the public eye. It's very obvious that Lily Jean and her mother just constantly live in a victimized mindset 24-7. Like I can't believe I'm even giving advice to Lily Jean's mother who's older than me and realistically should be more wiser but if you go through your life seeing yourself as the victim you're not gonna get very far. During that time, Laura kept emailing us. When we asked Laura for evidence on any of her claims against Premink or how she obtained his real name, she refused to respond. Yeah, of course they did, because they're full of sh that's why. Instead, she sent us vague legal threats, throwing around words like copyright infringement, defamation, and slander. Ah, the three musketeers, their three favorite words. I'm sure when Lily Jean first came out of the womb, her first words were copyright infringement. <laughs> Yeah, copyright. Yeah, take down. <laughs> copyright take down Kate's Price's video. <laughs> <laughs> that was her first words, 100%. Then Stephen went on to include an email from Laura that he had received. I'm not going to read the whole thing because I think it takes away from the article. So if you guys want to go and check it out, like I said, the link will be in the description. But let's move on to the part where they talk about me. Creators run scared. Um, yes. Yes, that is true. I have been very emotionally scared and terrified at night because of Lily Jean. Premink is far from the only creator to receive copyright notices from Lily Jean, while other creators like Curtis Price, hey! Tatiana, Sunny V2, and Angelica Owls have all posted videos on Lily Jean. Premink's was the largest with 10 million views. First on my list to speak with was Cleo, a 14,000 subscriber YouTube channel that translates drama about American creators for a French audience. She told me she discovered Lily Jean's story from commentary channels like Premink. 12 hours after posting her first video on Lily Jean, Lily filed a copyright notice for using a portion of footage from her video, Project Bullyish. This resulted in YouTube taking down Cleo's video. Cleo issued an appeal which granted Lily her full name and address. Well, good news for everybody, that Cleo's video is now fully reinstated, so Lily Jean didn't succeed at removing the video forever. It's now back up. If you want to go and check it out, I'll leave that in the description as well. Why not? The title of the next portion is A Giraffe Named Jerry. <laughs> Jerry, you, you famous! <laughs> yes! Jerry's made it, everybody. Jerry is officially more famous than Lily Jean. Jerry, you made it! God, look how happy he is. Yeah, Jerry. Yeah. On May 5th, 80,000 subscriber YouTuber Curtis Price covered the claim against Cleo on his channel. 80,000 subscribers? That's right. Thank you very much. <laughs> After she sent him an email asking for advice. I'd been introduced to the upbeat Welsh creator known for his wooden giraffe sidekick. Well, I wouldn't really call him a sidekick. I mean, he kind of runs the, uh, the scene around here. I just listen to Jerry. He tells me what to do. 
So if anything ever happens in the future with some drama, it's Jerry's fault. <laughs> Later in the week, Laura, in now deleted post on her own Facebook, shared the personal Facebook accounts of Price's entire family. This included where some of them were, which he spoke about in his video. Yeah, I'm not really sure why they did that, to be honest. I don't know what the point was dragging my family into it for. Like, was that supposed to intimidate me? My family are all on board with my channel, thank you very much, so... I'm lucky! In the corporate notification sent to Cleo from Lily Jean, which Cleo forwarded to me, Lily makes unsupported claims that Cleo frequents a neo-Nazi website and engages in terrorist, terrorist tactics. Lily adds that she is going to assume Price is Cleo's legal representation at this point forward. Yeah, that did happen. Apparently I was Cleo's, uh, you know, lawyer or something, which... <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Price has received at least 11 copyright notices on his nine videos about Lily Jean since 2020. The notices have yet to succeed in taking down his videos. In these notices, Lily shares similar objections about Price using the image she copyrighted. In one screenshot, the notice demands, take this video down. And I said to Steven, I believe she was trying to silence me in every possible way. Price said in an email interview, but since her copyright takedown requests were constantly denied, she resorted to doxing my family, slandering me, as well as filing a police report against me. Other stories have had their risks, but none this serious. His constant run-ins with Lily and Laura has led Price and his family to live in a state of anxiety. He said that the paranoia is exhausting. I mean, yeah, I'm not gonna lie, you know, living in a state of anxiety, that probably comes from the fact that I'm worried in case Lily Jean will come over here on a boat with her one million followers. And the paranoia is every time I'm in bed at night and I hear the floorboards creak, I think it's Lily Jean creeping around my house. But if I have to be completely raw and honest about my initial reaction to my family being dark, it kind of went something like this. Oh my god, are you shitting me? Oh my- Yo, Lily Jean just docks me and my family! Oh my god! I can make another video! I can- I can- Oh, but they just doxed me! I can't believe- I can make fun of them again! I can- Call her the whole school one more time and- But- Ah, uh, but they- they listen where my family works and- That's gonna put them even more in- even more deep sh**. I can win! Oh my god, I've won! I've actually won! <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that is actually how it went. I went from a stage of panic to happiness, back to panic, and then to a state of euphoria. <laughs> <laughs> that was in the space of like 30 seconds as well. But if you do want to read the rest of the article, it will be the top line of the description. Stephen worked really hard on it, so share it around as much as possible, because his hard work deserves to be recognised. So the aftermath of the article being released, like Lily Jean has rebranded her channel completely. I don't know whether she thinks that if she does a rebrand, no one will recognise her anymore as the person who faked her life, but we know. We know. But as Stephen released this article, he posted a couple of threads on Twitter, which I thought was... Very interesting. For years, Lily Jean and her mother Laura have sent threats, insults, and even doxxed creators speaking out about them. Some fled the platform, others live in a state of anxiety. While reporting on their stories, they try to do the same to me. Ah, oh, that's, uh, that's pretty on brand for the horse girl and the Wicked Witch of the West. I feel like they live like the monsters from Monsters, Inc., where they've got, like, a scare tank and it fills up to the max when they've had enough fear out of people. After asking Lily and Laura to answer our questions, they claimed I am a former judge's child who has access to personal records and that this is a paid hit article. We both have been in the business long enough to smell a setup. Been in the business long enough what, of writing articles? Yeah, I'm sure you have been in the business, Laura, considering you hired people from Fiverr to write articles about your daughter. Normally, I'd create a thread full of images from this piece, but considering the pair have already threatened to sue us for slander, defamation, and a bunch of other words they don't understand. If we use any of their images, it's best just to read it here. I mean, yeah, they, they do tend to use a lot of words they don't understand. For example, stalking. I mean, it's a pretty self-explanatory word, but to accuse me of stalking, when you literally hunted down my family and released private information about them. I would say that that is stalking, not me posting videos on a public platform. And another word they don't understand is slander. What, me reporting on you faking your life, which is public knowledge, is slander? But you saying that I play with children on Discord as well as on Twitch isn't. Not really sure where your brains are at. I'm so happy that Jerry made it onto an article. I mean, that is just well done, Jerry, again. You are way more famous than me now. I mean, the title to my piece wasn't even my name. It was Jerry's name. Also, check out my other two Lily Jean videos. This one is just like a bit of a backstory of what's been happening about, you know, over the last few years. And this one is about her doxing me. 